My block jumping like Brian Brian, hear my dance moves like Prime Time. Bad bitch on the sideline with the pom pom trying to ride mine. I do whatever I want, what else? Yo, bitch, be whatever you don't. No, don't shoot the messenger, man. This is the message she wrote. Hey guys, it's Coach Clemens and you guys are watching Coach Talk. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are doing KJ Hill out of Ohio State. I did a poll up on the 24-7 Sports Talk 365 Facebook page and um, KJ Hill was the one that you guys wanted to see most, so today we're coming up with him. All right, well, let's take a look here. Let's take a deep dive and let's see what we're looking at. All right, guys, sorry for the wait. I was sick for a minute and now we're right back in it. Let's take a look at KJ Hill. Got him throwing outside. Okay. He's going to be um, number 14. All right. He's up at the top of the screen here. All right. Decent move there. Quarterback running around with his head cut off. He's at the bottom screen here. He's going up for that block there. A little pushy pushy. Got him in the slot here. Yep. Just going up. Just setting that little block. He doesn't look like he's the best. He's the best blocker out there. He's no Justin Jefferson, that's for sure. Oop, okay. I like the break. Okay. Okay. Got a little cut there. I like it. So far, we're not able to see how, how good his route running looks. He's been off the screen for most of his uh, his work. All right, that was, that was sloppy. He rounded his route there and went out to the sideline, but he is open. He's open in that zone there. He's running up, and quarterback got takedown. Going up field for the block, and man, this guy can't block. <laughs> Look. Okay, nah, that was a little sloppy. All right, got that run going outside, and he's going over there, though. He's going over there, though. He's over here in the slot. It looks like he does line up primarily in the slot here. He's going deep. Let's see the quarterback roll out. Chuck it. Got it. Oh, I think he was out of bounds, though. I don't think he got a foot in. All right. He beat the defender, but his zone coverage, so that's why. Quarterback goes down. Flags everywhere. Going up. That's a little bit better blocking right there, but here in the slot. Once again, off that damn screen. Couldn't see what was going on. Too much blocking at the bottom of the screen here. Once again, trying to set that outside edge. Quarterback rolls out to the right, and he's tackled at the for a gain of one yard. All right, got it back up in the slot here. Going outside. All right. Eh, he's not that explosive on his routes. He got open there, but he's not that explosive. He's catching it though. He didn't. He he didn't get a drop there. Ooh, he, this guy got some moves. Damn. Okay. Lay the boom, big boy. Damn. Okay. He's going deep. Throwing it to outside over here. All right. He's, he's, he's not hitting our mans. He's not hitting our mans. And I think I picked the game where, like, he had his best statistical game. So, come on now. What's going on here? Let's get this man some some catches. Going outside for that block again. Got it over to the running back. Short game, short game. So, so far against some decent talent he ain't doing too much they just try to get the ball in his hands and oh he made some misses making some misses go good shit gain a 10 got a little bit of good rack there but you know me i don't really give two craps about rack if you can't you know get open on the route but okay once again just throwing the ball to him and he's gonna try to make a move go outside get him one yard got him motioning to the outside here top of the screen runs up yeah he he's not the he's not the best route runner. He's not the best we've seen out here. I, hope, I think you guys could agree with that. He's at the top of the screen, kind of hidden, just blocking that outside edge. Hey, good enough blocking to set this man up for a big gain though, for the touchdown. Good job, KJ. Okay, you, you good job. Yeah, they just run the ball outside. They got this zone defense, and it's it's not. It's not that good, but the quarterback ain't getting it to the right read. Like right there, he was actually open. Quarterback didn't hit him. He went for the check down, but over there. Yeah, he's not. I wish we could see some more routes. They, they're running it a lot. I would like to see some more routes so we can get a better um, 
you know look at what he what he actually looks like because i've only seen a couple routes where it didn't look that explosive like right there he 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 his double move wasn't that much of a double move what the fuck was that he, he, he just took like a little step but it, it ain't he really doing nothing if that was a crow route it's the trashiest crow route i've ever seen he literally just turned around you gotta sell it you gotta full speed as fast as you can like you're running a streak and then you gotta plant that foot and explode backwards towards the ball and um he's literally just turning around which you're not gonna get open at all that's that's this week over here in the slot again yeah i'm not liking the routes he's wide open that's because it's a busted ass zone coverage these guys they're, they're, they're running like the same play over and over again the, the linebackers are playing run so it's open but quarterback taking it off there over here up in the slot right here oh sorry little pang little little two-hand touch block just let him oh i might act like i'm blocking for coach but but i'm not really that's what that was good throw for the first down right there though over there all right he's going he's going tossed it to him caught it oh never mind picked off my bad <laughs> He, 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 once again, he didn't explode out his route. He rounded the route, like, real, real bad. Just rounded that route. Just another run play up the middle there. Again, and nothing. Michigan State playing tough on him, even though they're getting blown out. The RPO there, he went to the outside. See? He rounds his routes. His booty. It's cheeks. It's cheeks. At just at the end at the oh and he dropped it come the fuck on kj you're making the other kj look bad can't have that name and then to do this he's the opposite kj he's the wrong kj you don't want your team drafting this kj you want the other kj all right making a little move there they're trying to make him as a rack receiver like as some kind of gadget player but he he ain't that tiny for man. He ain't he ain't the Paris Campbell of last year, uh, which so he's been an injury bug. But look at that, just going up the field, just can't really get in front of the defenders. He set a block, but whatever. Let's get this man the ball somewhere. Oh, RPO. Sloppy. It's just I don't really like this dude. Okay, quarterback making some moves there. I don't know who that is. The red zone, see what they do. This is a run. They're not using him that much, which, which I don't like. They, I know they got a baller for a running back, and that's why they keep going his way, but they're not really looking his way. Like, this was one of his best statistical performance games, I'm pretty sure, when I was tech checking it out. And he ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing. Quarterback. Just, oh, running back went out to the side there. Good game. They're running on him, but like, ah, it's so sloppy. I don't like it. It's sloppy. I don't like the boy. Going deep there. And then quarterback goes down. Well, not much else you're seeing from this man. Uh, he's sloppy route runner. Doesn't really look like giving 100% effort. He has a little bit of rag ability, but you know. All right, let's take a look at him here versus Clemson in the playoffs this year. See how he does there. Got the ball off to him real quick off that uh, RPO it looked like right there for a pretty decent game. All right, went outside there and goes up. Oh, got him. Broke him, coach. Got him, coach. Let's see this again. Go outside. Caught it. Skirt. Okay. Let's see, he's at the bottom of the screen here. It's a little run play outside. Man's putting in work there. All right, got him lined up in the slot here. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you don't sell your curl, you can get, you're gonna get defenders, good defenders are gonna see that and they're gonna run up and all that and they're gonna pick that bitch. Like you gotta sell it. This is the weakest shit. You cannot just turn around. That's gonna happen. Ah, so weak. Didn't explode out of that threw it to him but it was a bad throw but st see that round of the route right there he rounded that shit stop rounding man i don't care how good your rack is if you can't get open on a route 
can't get down and explode. You're, you're not going to get open in the big leagues, bro. Stop it. Red zone C just rounds everything. Just rounds everything. Just no cuts. He don't make a cut. He just rounds. He don't, he's not using his cleats right. Throw it to him again and incomplete. Got hit right in the face. He didn't tackle while he caught it, but man, you got to make that catch, buddy. He did, wasn't productive. He ain't getting open. That's why. The only catches he's getting is whenever he just does it. Whenever they're doing an RPO and they, they just throw it to him on the short. And he tries to make a play that way. And another drop. Come on, buddy. See, look at this. He's open. Nobody's guarding him. Just sitting there. Ah. Oh, bad throw. All right, there you go. Just run up the field. It's a zone coverage right here. So he's just open in the zone right there. Just quarterback got a little dot. Got him with the little dot. Let's see, he's decent. He's gonna get open on a linebacker who ain't that agile. But man, it's not gonna work that well. Like if Isaiah Simmons is guarding him, he's he he he's not gonna get open with this kind of route running. Motion it out to the bottom of the screen here. Going deep. Yeah, I've seen enough. I, I think I know what I'm getting out of this guy. And uh, he's not someone I'm, I'm going to want on my team. Um, maybe a late round pick, but I don't think nothing much more. He's, he didn't really show nothing that impressed me. But here you guys go, KJ Hill. Let's go take a look at my review of what I think of the boy. All right, so KJ Hill, player review. Let's take a look. Um, his route running, um, I'm going to be easy on him, and I'm going to give him a five, even though I want to give his ass a three because it just really pisses me off when I see receivers who definitely have the ability to break down and burst out of the routes like, like KJ Hill does. Um, he's quick. He can break defenders, so clearly he can get down and explode. But why doesn't he do it on his routes? Who knows? Is it laziness? Is it just the coaching? Who knows? But um, I, I I don't like it at all. Um, I'm big on route running. You got to get open, you know, to get the ball. And with route running like that, it's, it's sloppy. It rounds his routes um, time and time again. Doesn't explode out of him. Um, doesn't sell his curls like you should be. Um, there's nothing really I saw that really made me too happy. His only real plays out of the was just on the RPO whenever he, or a screenplay where he's just sitting there and they give him the ball and he tries to make a move which didn't even really really lead to like great results like you see other players um so yeah his route running I'm just gonna be nice and give him a five out of ten even though I don't want to be um physicality um I'm, once again it could be a three as well for this but I'm gonna give him a four um he didn't do much I mean he didn't go up and you didn't see him want to go up and hit nobody um, even when he's blocking, he just kind of puts his hands on him and just hopes, like like I said before, he's like, hey, coach, look, I'm blocking. You can't can't get on my ass for not blocking. I'm right here. But, yo, yeah, you're right there, but you're not doing anything. Like, you're, you're afraid you're going to piss the DB off like he's going to hit you. Like, come on now. Like, you got to get up there and set the block. You, especially if you got a running team like, like they were. Like, they're running the ball, like, all the time. And if you were to have a receiver out there, um, like an example, like I like to give Justin Jefferson, who can get up there and set the block well so that that guy is eliminated from the play. You you make the defense go from having 11 men on the field down to having 10 men on the field if you can set that block correctly as a wide receiver. So a team like Ohio State that likes to run the ball a lot, it, you're going to get your man's tackled more time and time again if you can't hit that block. And this man just kind of running up there and just kind of like setting his hands on him, um, just making it look like he's doing something, but he's really not. Um so yeah that's where i am with that um his speed i'm gonna give him a six out of ten once again um he didn't really show no speed like you expect out of a player that they depend on for for rack to have some speed to him but he's not overly fast you know i've seen 
a lot more players that look way faster than him um way quicker um he's just he didn't really impress me that much he's i give it a six out of ten um i don't know what his ability is you know big play ability down the field because the only times that we did see him go down the field it was either a bad throw or um db broke it up and he didn't he wasn't able to haul the haul the pass in um in coverage um doesn't have you know that conservative catch um he just he he's basically limit limited to a curl route and they're gonna give it to him but like i said his curl routes ain't good at all either because he doesn't know how to sell the curl route so the dv know exactly what's coming um he just does this little turnaround that's slow as shit but he's more quick than fast he's not that fast so he i give him a six out of ten um just because it's not he's not no damn uh snail out there but he's he's just he's not fast either for hands i'm gonna give the man a six out of ten again um he didn't get the ball thrown his way a lot but once again that could be because he um was shit with them route run and didn't do much with it um couldn't get open because he wasn't showing effort on, and whenever the quarterback did throw his way there was there was some drops um whether or not it was because he was contested um and he couldn't haul it in or because he just flat out dropped it um so the quarterback's not gonna feel comfortable throwing his way if he can't depend on his receiver to make the catches which is what it looked like it was um it looked like the, they they treated him as like a uh, running back that was on the other that was on the outside of the field that they just threw it to him and that was his job um but when he went out for a route they didn't even really look his way even whenever he was open because like i said he was he had some drops in there um didn't seem too dependable um which is maybe why maybe that's why they're running team maybe that's why they're running the ball so damn much they couldn't they couldn't depend on their damn receiver to go out and catch the ball and put work in on every play um but yeah who knows um so new category we got here is hot or not just to make it quick um, if I think this guy is hot or not and uh, as you could tell by my damn review this far as I would hope um, is it not um, I, I, I don't I'm not too hot on him um, even for like you know his height or you know where we might be able to get him in the draft um, not too hot on him um, so if I see my Colts pick him up <laughs> anything higher than um, six round fifth round at the earliest I'll be I'll be a little salty but that goes for a lot of teams if they were to pick him up i i don't i'm not hot on him if you're hot on him tell me why you're hot on him because i don't see it um it, you see the film right here if you think it's lying tell me um but yeah that's what i that's what i give it right there um so like you like i said player grade i'm gonna give him a six round pick um around that area he didn't he doesn't have any traits that'll make a team say i need to get that guy on my team um he got a he has a role that not a lot of teams um really need uh, which is to catch the ball and try to break some people he's he's not an elite he's not an elite rack player like i'm not too big on rack receivers but like he's not even that good of a rack receiver like uh he there's so many more people you could get that it'll do what he does much better and have other things um so like i'm not i'm not too hot on him he he make he make kj hamler look bad because uh people might get them mixed up and uh you definitely don't want to get that done and draft a if you switch up and accidentally pick kj hill instead of kj hamler you're gonna get your ass fired but that's that's where we're at, at this point um thank you guys so much if you watched up to this point and once again i am so sorry i wasn't able to post last week i was sick for like the whole week um wasn't feeling good didn't want to give you guys some bullshit low down content because i was i wasn't feeling good um that's not that's not what i want to do um i want to keep it real with you guys um so i'm back i'm feeling good tell me what you want to do next um van jefferson i got five votes on van jefferson y'all want me to do van jefferson hit the like button i'll do van jefferson you want to see colin johnson hit the like button comment down below colin johnson he's slow i'll tell you that he can't break out of his routes quickly but i can show you He's six foot six or something. Man's a monster. What do you guys want to see? Let me know. I'll do this for you guys. All right. So just hit me up. Tell me what you guys want to see. Have a great day. Peace out.